What's going on, guys? Happy Wednesday. It's Mr. DEDT, Joe Lork from the Money Etiquette Group. And today I want to talk about the importance of the news report that was released that said we are $22 trillion in debt as a nation. Again, we're carrying $22 trillion worth of debt as a nation. Now, 10 years ago, that would have caused panic and people would say that we're going through a Greek default under a different administration. But today it seems like people are not panicking. We can make our payments. They're not as concerned. But it is a big headline. It has been shared time and time again. But I think we are a little bit distracted by that number. And there was a more important number that was released today that was a smaller headline that we should have paid attention to. And that is 7 million people are past due on their auto loans by at least 90 days. 7 million people are 90 days or later on their car loan. And we haven't seen this delinquency level since 2010. So when you hear the economy is doing good, you hear things about the nation and the debt levels, that's all good. But how are households doing? Households are not doing great when we're at 2010 levels of delinquencies with auto loans. And I know some people are going to say, you know, the smart people are going to say, you know what? But we went through that shutdown. The shutdown lasted 30 plus days. There's no reason if we were OK that that shutdown should cause a record number number of 90 day delinquencies. OK, and if you understand credit reporting, you know that when you miss your first payment, you're not 30 days past due immediately. OK, just because you miss your first payment, which is 30 days past due, you're not really reporting 30 days past due until you're like 60 days past due on your auto loan. That's when it's reporting on the credit bureau. Your first missed payment doesn't instantly report that you're 30 day. You're still current at that point, even though you're one payment behind. OK, just for the smart people who think they understand credit reporting. But nevertheless, I'm saying that that was the more important report. We're not doing great. We're living a great facade, but we're not doing great because see, when you're 90 days past due on your auto loan and it hasn't been repoed yet, you still are in your car. When you're past doing your mortgage, you're still in your house. When you're past doing your credit card, your credit card is still there. People can't see that. They can only see the facade of life. And right now I believe we're in a facade in terms of how well we're doing as a nation. Here's another report. It said that we're down three to six percent when it comes to uh, applications for home loans. So less people are applying for mortgages. You know why? Because people are preparing for what's to come, which is a slowdown. Now, mind you, we're in a record uh, consecutive growth period. It's been 10 years and July will reach a record. And I believe we'll reach that record. I don't believe we're going to see the slowdown occur before then. My prediction has always been the end of 2019, early 2020 is when we're going to start another recession because we usually we have one every seven to 10 years. And obviously we've gone beyond that point. And by July, it'll be a record. But that still doesn't indicate how well we are doing as U.S. households. There was another report that came out that said 53% uh, of surveyed Californians are considering moving because of cost of living. That's a similar report to what's coming out of D.C., what's coming out of New York. So we see, we're seeing a lot of our major cities and metropolitan areas become just unaffordable when it comes to uh, lifestyle costs and living costs. We're still carrying record levels of student loan debt and credit card debt. Hey, I've been talking about it since my first book, Did Everything But Think. Yeah, that's a plug. Did Everything But Think. I wrote that in 2011 because I could see what was coming. I was working in banking and it gave me the opportunity to really learn what was going on inside the system on a large scale. And I'm telling you guys, just prepare yourselves. Don't panic. There's no need to panic. And don't get so focused on something you're gonna forget like, oh yeah, we have $22 trillion worth of debt because technically you look at yourself like a lot of that debt is owed to us. It's not even like we as a household owe everyone else. We don't owe China as a household all of this money. We don't know owe foreign nations all of this money as a household. We owe it as a government, but we feel okay because we're like, you know, we, we're pretty good at fighting. So we feel pretty good. But the households are not doing great. We're living in a facade, guys. So if that's you, if you find yourself right now living in a, in a facade, begin to destroy that facade because it's important now. The time to live in the facade and things being okay 
is coming to an end. Stop living in that facade and live for the real now. Because otherwise you might get caught up in the next recession.